people deluded now a few days ago i saw one of the comments someone asked me to do a vid on suso i know he was linked with arsenal around a week or two ago so yeah i haven't got extensive thoughts on the player first and foremost i actually like him i feel he's a strong dribbler a strong ball carrier i think he's got good link up play he can play on the flanks and he's a decent he is decent out there but i wouldn't necessarily class him as a winger i know he's not exactly the slowest but for me, he's more of a wide playmaker or shoehorned out there. I think he would actually thrive within a 10, but that's my bias towards players that I don't necessarily see as out-and-out -out wingers because for me, I know the game's change, everybody's inside, but for me, wingers are, I've told you a lot, the ones that want to get chalk on their boots. But I like him, man. I think, like I said, he's a strong carrier. He's got good. He's actually very good at set pieces, corners, and decent at free kicks. The link up play, eye for a pass, final ball. He's got it all. He's got. He's got a lot. Twenty five years of age. He's a good player. Rebuilt his career after obviously not breaking through at Liverpool. He only got twenty odd appearances. Um, yeah, he's re he's rebuilt himself. I'm so sure he went to Genoa at one point. I could be wrong. Um, now he's found his feet at AC Milan in somewhat. He's got a bit of importance. He's playing for a top club sort of thing. Um, I actually like him. I'm a good. He's a good player. If he was to sign for us, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But for me personally, I wouldn't bring him into Arsenal people purely because again, I don't have the exact figure. But on the, some of the reports I saw before I made this film, I'm seeing his release clauses anything from thirty five to forty something million. Now. If we just look at reports that our budget allegedly is fifteen for transfers, excluding other things, would it make sense to play to spend a good portion of that on on someone who at twenty five years of age? I think this season he's got I've got it here, he's got six goals, eight assists. Forgive me if I'm wrong. And in his one hundred and twenty two appearances for AC Milan, twenty one goals, um, tw twenty twenty one goals. Um, that's not necessarily the best from a winger. To be fair with you, assists he's got thirty four. Um, so what? 21 assists, 34 assists, 21 assists, 21 goals, sorry, 34 assists in 122 would give him, what, 55 and 22 or something like that. So that's not the worst of stats, to be fair with you people, when you put it like that, if he's contributed to 55 goals and assists in 122 appearances from a wide position, that's not the best, that's not the worst. I think he's better than Dennis Suarez, so on that basis, I suppose he could sign, no disrespect to Suarez, but... For me, like I said, he's more of a wide playmaker than a winger. I kind of he does take people on down the flanks. Don't get me wrong, people, but I um I don't necessarily think that's his natural instincts. And I do think, for someone who, as much as I admire, I don't really think not sure or really have any conviction that he can he can definitely chip in and help us with our mission to get back in the Champions League. But for the money, in terms of the chunk of our budget, does it make sense for me to to stand here and say it would be right wise for me to? allocate that to someone who I don't think is going to make the difference against top six sides no um we've got to be looking that that sort of money now is probably we can't get it. it's probably to try and find an Alexis Sanchez in the sense that pardon me one sec Well, that was a false alarm, people. I don't know what happened there. But um, Alexis Sanchez, in the sense that at the time, 35 million, it was seen as a deal, however much it was. But you knew signing Alexis Sanchez, that wide position, he's going to take us to the next level. I don't think Suso is going to quite do that. I think he's a good player, like I said, but I don't think he's going to do that. I don't really have confidence in his ability to do that. Like I said, if we signed him, I'd be happy. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but I just don't think he's the guy to do that. And I don't think it's wise to allocate that sort of the budget. I'd rather us, us actually possibly just spend that on the centre-half or allocate the sort of marquee part of the budget towards bringing in a top centre-half and giving us some proper options and giving Uno Emre, if he's still in the job, something to work with in terms of you've got a good centre-half, Holden will be back from his injury, Mavropanos, Kishonia for a year, Socrates, the best centre-half out of the experience ones available for me. You can move forward with these sort of things and then we can really scrutinise or see Uno Emre's outlook defensively because I do think he's improved us in some aspects, but some aspects are also questionable. But I have to discount a lot because some of these players just continuously make bad decisions. There's Obviously, it comes down to coaching, but there's been two coaches at this club and it's been the same mistakes from some individuals. So I'd like to see Uno Emre given some competent individuals to work with and then if they're still not doing it, we ask questions. Um... Defence wins titles. I'd like to see us do that. But back to Suso, I think he's a good player. Like I said, he's rebuilt himself since leaving 
leaving Liverpool many moons ago. I think he's a player in that, obviously, if you've got the marquee players, he'd be someone that could be brought in, someone that can chip in, and someone that can be used as a rotation squad sort of option. But for us, needing that marquee sort of winger, that guy that can, if not take us to the next level, the guy with the potential to become that one day, I'm not sure of Suso. He's 25 years of age. He's a good player, like I said. He's coming into his home of sorts like that. He's 25, he's... Now the next two years, maybe three, are now his time where he's kind of got to leave his his own personal legacy within football, try and earn as much money as he can because he's probably got one, maybe two big contracts left. In fact, I'm lying, he's got probably two, but he's 25, so it's going to happen soon. I think he's a decent player, like I said, he's a technically excellent, very cultured midfielder, very like typical Spaniard, to be fair, with typical players Spain have produced within the last 10 or so years. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't. I don't really feel in my heart is someone I can really sit here and advocate to sign away from his ability or my personal admiration for the guy. So, that's my opinion. Um, if he came, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be a failure by any stretch of the imagination, people. But yeah, that's what my thoughts. People deluded. Thank you for preening and watching. I'm out.